I intend to keep my promise, and I know you will, too. Since 2013, Obamacare premiums have skyrocketed. In Alaska, they went up over 200 percent recently. We know that. In Arizona, they've been up 118 percent. And those states are good compared to some of the numbers that are coming out. Despite the promise that premiums would decrease by $2,500 on average, they've actually increased by almost $3,000, and even much more than that in some cases. It's crushing the middle class and the families of the middle class. It's frankly crushing our country. Obamacare was a big lie. You can keep your doctor, lie. You can keep your plan, lie. It was a lie directly from the president. You can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. 28 times he said it, 28 times. And it was a lie and he knew it was. And now it's hurting this country irreparably. Premiums are so high that 6.5 million Americans chose to pay a fine to the IRS instead of buying insurance, the famous mandate. We will pay not to take the insurance. People don't understand that. They don't even understand what it is or what it represents. If Obamacare is not repealed in 2018, over 1,300 counties in the United States will have only one insurer. Forty counties will have absolutely no coverage in the exchange. And that number will grow rapidly. And I think those numbers are extremely conservative. I think they're very low. I've been here just six months. I'm ready to act. I have pen in hand, believe me. I'm sitting in that office. I have pen in hand. You never had that before. You know, for seven years, you had an easy route. We'll repeal, we'll replace, and he's never going to sign it. But I'm signing it. So it's a little bit different. But I'm ready to act. For seven years, you promised the American people that you would repeal Obamacare. People are hurting. Inaction is not an option. And frankly, I don't think we should leave town unless we have a health insurance plan, unless we can give our people great health care. Because we're close. We're very close.